What is good, YouTube? It's Sugar Girl Brings. I think my hair was cut last time, or maybe it wasn't because I cut it. It was hot, y'all. It was hot. But, anyways, y'all, we went to Sam's earlier today. So I still have a lot of stuff to put up right here in this area. For the fact that I am slow poking around and just now getting to cook. y'all the point is like i am just now getting ready to cook y'all and it is approximately 6 39 y'all know i hate cooking bruh <laughs> y'all know i hate cooking <laughs> and he just think it's so funny y'all know i hate cooking late like i'm not even supposed to be cooking this late i'm just So today we are doing, I'm just jumping into the video y'all, today, today we are doing a salmon shrimp pasta, keto version of course, we are using, I thought that I had had two things of angel hair y'all, but I did not have angel hair, I bought two things of linguine, so now I have two things of linguine and one thing of angel hair, and like I'm debating, cutie cutie, I'm debating on whether or not I should just use regular noodles because it's it's pretty much already ruined with the three that I have right now. So So this girl is completely unprepared. I do have some penny pasta. moderation and as long as I eat this like once and and I'm not a huge portion of it and with the salmon and also the vegetables that I'm putting in it should be fine right and the side salad it should be fine right right anyways y'all let's go ahead and jump into this frozen drumsticks because I have to cook his drumsticks tomorrow he had Burger King today y'all so your boy is not eating any cooked drumsticks my first um, break tomorrow. These will be put in the oven and into cooking mode. What it is about dishes? Oh. Oh, gosh, but for some reason, it always smells like the food that was packed in here previously. Whatever. It comes right. I don't like that. So I have to let it soak again. This ain't see, see, mommy. <laughs> I'm about to go ahead and like cook the shrimp and cook the salmon. Um, first, I am going to cut the salmon off. Um, we'll cut the back skin off of the salmon and then season it. And then we can get fully into this video like we're supposed to be doing. So I will be right back. All right, guys. I am back. So, yeah, I tried to peel the freaking back off of this, off of this salmon. It was not worth it. It wasn't worth it. I was like, give up. I give up. Okay, I don't have time for that. I'm already hungry. And I'm not the best reading. The keto has to help you train the keto. So now I got tips on how to get this famous keto without me having to cook it to the point that it rolls up on its own. And cook it. Yeah. We're just gonna do what we gotta do. 
the way we gotta do it. All right, y'all, so we're actually going to be seasoning the salmon and shrimp in this here bowl that should have been completely drained. Put it back through the drainer. Because water still got in there some way, somehow. But then again, both of them hold water, so you don't know which one it came from. Anyway, y'all, all right. We are going to take some olive oil, drizzle it on the top. Drizzle it in our skillet as well. Done with the olive oil. After we have our olive oil, we are going to take some slap your mama and slap that right Bruh. on in the bowl. We slapping it in, y'all. The bowl. Make sure it is seasoned to a T because we are going to be mixing this up with our hands, y'all. The seasoning is going to get on everything. After slap your mama, you're going to take some garlic powder. Nice amount of garlic powder. After the garlic powder, you are going to take some onion powder. Okay. After your onion powder, you are going to take some Weber New Orleans Cajun. Speaking of New Orleans, your girl would have been in Louisiana this weekend had she not been broke. All right, Creole season from Tony. Tony's Creole season. Throw some of that in there. All right. I took out both two of them. All both of them were open too. Wow. Who does that? And I took out oh, two onion powders. That's right, baby. No. And then, of course, that's right, Nam, Nam, nobody. And then, last but not least, black pepper. And this just reminded me, you guys, that I don't have any lemon pepper. I always use lemon pepper when I'm cooking seafood. And then, with your hands, you guys, you are going to take and mix it all in. Make sure you are getting the shrimp as well. I know my nails are like literally cutting into the salmon, which is not cool. That is not what I want to happen. All right. Nicely seasoned pieces like so. All right, y'all. And with that being said, spread the little bit of olive oil that we did with the pan around. And you don't have to worry about adding any additional um, seasoning to this unless you just want to add additional seasoning to it because any seasoning that's left over, I'm literally dumping from this bowl into the paint. All right. Try hands off. Why are you so cute, dude? I just dried my hands off, you guys, just to put them back in the bowl. Like, that was... Useless. <laughs> useless. Right, so, whoops. Guys, see my skillet? We are going to then start. Uh, I figured, like, I need to start showing you guys, like, me actually cooking and stuff. Not having y'all watch <laughs> from afar. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to hold it more. And if I can hold it, uh, make sure that I have my um, little Dutch tripod handy. And then, of course, if I don't, we can make it work. We can definitely make it work, but we are cooking on top of the stove today. I do not want the house to be hotter than it needs to be. 
is not going to fit all of these shrimps or even all of these pieces of salmon but get in we can Alright y'all, so I'm going to let these cook up a little bit. TK, do you mind? And I will be right back, you guys, once everything has cooked. Because you guys see I still have to throw this in too after that's done. So I'll be back, y'all. So you guys, this is what the salmon is looking like. And I'm literally taking this out with my fingers. So I'm burning my fingers up. Um, I would like to chop it into nice, even pieces but it's breaking as i'm moving it from the skillet and putting it into the pan so that's kind of what i have to work with y'all like i did peel the skin off if i could from the back of the salmon and kind of put that in a little pile right here that i'm going to wind up throwing away i don't know what it is about the skin you guys but it seems like a lot of like the actual just grossness of undersea life gets trapped between that skin and y'all just can't do it y'all okay. <laughs> so I am making the last two pieces in the skillet right now and then I'm gonna peel that skin off too I told y'all I was gonna add this remaining seasoning in the pot so that's what i just did you guys um yeah so want to cook this and yeah you guys see my lace lifting i'm literally about to take this out like as soon as i finish recording this video you guys my head has been so itchy so so itchy but it lasted it lasted four weeks y'all which is surprising for me because my hairstyle <laughs> barely last the two weeks that I'll be wanting them to yeah I'll be ready to change so freaking quick you guys but this lasted me four weeks I think that's an accomplishment that is a dog on accomplishment y'all right. these noodles are almost done all right y'all now that the noodles are almost done well, the next thing I'm going to do I'm also using vegetables um, with this recipe. So, I don't know where I put my um, carrots and stuff. Or did I never pick it out? I got this one back in here. Alright, y'all, so I never took it out. Alright y'all, so I have a mixed bag of vegetables, and this is carrots, um, peas, carrots, peas, corn, and green beans. Carrots, peas, corn, green beans, or vegetables. And I'm just going to throw this in with the pasta and let them finish cooking together because it's going into the pasta recipe. And I know you guys think it might be weird, but I feel like every pasta should have some type of vegetable included and if it doesn't it should be added but that's just me it's just me everybody doesn't think that way y'all and since these are lightweight still somewhat unthawed because they have been out in the sun for a good amount of time today I feel like they shouldn't take that long to cook in this hot water and I'm actually going to turn the hot water up real quick to let them cook you guys so I'm going to let all of this cook and then I will be back showing you guys me adding the sauce and finalizing the salad and getting ready to chow down so stay tuned y'all all right guys your girl is about to eat but I need to know why didn't nobody tell me how good this was <laughs> nobody told me that this brand was this good this alfredo sauce y'all is bomb.com and i'm really picky about alfredo sauce because i'm so used to making it myself but i forgot to grab some heavy whipping cream 
and of course you know heavy whipping cream is the whole base so i mean i think i got parmesan i have i have parmesan i have garlic minced garlic but why did nobody tell me about this brand like oh my god y'all this is so freaking good it is so good and i had no idea that it was going to be that freaking good um so i am just going to break my pieces of salmon up with my spoon because i don't even feel like cutting this up at the moment and i just found out y'all i'm gonna have to run back out because ck is now talking about some he wanted his chicken after he told me that he was gonna have the burger king tonight and the chicken tomorrow so of course when i went to the store y'all i got frozen chicken i'm expecting to cook this chicken tomorrow no he expecting to be eating it today <laughs> so y'all it's not so I'm going to put this together and then I'm just going to wait until I get back to fully eat because it's not going to make any sense if I do it before because then like I just can't eat when I know he's hungry and his appetite is rapidly growing y'all. It's like rapidly growing and when he eats like I try to make sure that he has healthy choices. I mean he's a kid french fries are pretty much a given like i can't really avoid him loving his fries but at the same time like he doesn't have fries for every meal every meal and he doesn't have he doesn't eat out a lot with me at all so when he does have fries it's like once in a couple of days like during my parenting time with him because i will cook him breakfast which is something healthy like some um bacon who has some bacon who has some sausage um french toast sticks if he wants it but no more than two and then they're the small ones that are like that big y'all that thin my fingernails that thin so he'll have um french toast sticks that are like that big um cheese cheese cubes if he wants it and then besides that like y'all like the rest is fruit i'll put two fruit two or three fruits together and mix those up putting them in his um put it, mixing those up and putting them on his tray and that is his breakfast and he usually he eats a, a home cooked breakfast pretty much every morning because you guys know i start work at 11 so yeah he's when well, he's with me he's up he's up when mommy's up so yeah that's how that rolls y'all starting at 11 all right and then like if he eats out like i'll let him have his fries but at the same time he's getting some fruit with those fries and he's also like when he eats cheeseburger he doesn't eat his bun which i think is amazing as a kid amazing he doesn't want the bread he just wants the cheese and the meat and he doesn't have ketchup he doesn't have mustard I'm not saying that those things will make a huge dent and like his physique or anything but the fact is like he doesn't eat the bread which is the huge carb factor um which i'm really proud of him for um chicken nuggets and fried chicken is a problem i try to keep him towards like real chicken y'all sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't he likes what he likes but like i said he doesn't eat out a lot when he's home and most of the times when i cook dinner like i make his chicken he'll eat it for like leftovers the next day so he eats pretty good when he's at home eats pretty good eats pretty healthy it's just when either um i'm not planning on cooking him anything that day or if he plans on um that next day but this is what my um shrimp and it's my turn my flash on this is what my shrimp and um salmon is looking like mixed together you guys and completely cut up so it's just like little pieces i wish i would have got some crab meat because that would have been bomb too <sighs> that would have been really really good but anyways you guys that is that that's half of the sauce this is my pasta with my peas and carrots and green beans so y'all i'm just about to go ahead and i'm gonna mix it all together 
Um, the way that I mix it is, as you guys can see, I had that little bit of sauce at the bottom. I'm gonna take a spoonful of my meat mix, I'll throw that on the bottom in there with it. All right, and then pour some more sauce in it. I'm gonna take my pasta, I'm gonna pour some of that in. That back right there. Make sure that the sauce is getting nice and sauced. All right, y'all. From there, we add the rest. And the reason why I do it like that, y'all, because I want to make sure that I have enough. Like if I'm eating this that day, I want to make sure that I have at least enough in there for like a full serving to eat that day. But I mean, I should have figured that I did considering that I'm not even fully using more than one box of pasta. Is this good too? I know for real. Until it's bomb too. Yes, this is so rich. This is even better. That's delicious. We're gonna mix that in. Sauce, y'all. I mix water in, and I feel like that's a really bad habit to have. Seriously, <laughs> like mommy. Really but yeah, I literally would. Yeah, feel like that's enough sauce. Mix it in, and that is nice and sauce, y'all. Hey, y'all. So when you are done, this is what it's going to look like. Nice spoonful of deliciousness, and literally, you just put this in the bowl, put it on a plate. I will show you guys like a more presentable um, product when I get back with the salad on the side. Um, but I do have to head out, you guys. Be right back. All right, guys, how about this for presentation? Look at that delightfulness. I told y'all I was going to work on getting some better better things to showcase presentation, but I just covered this with um, like a three cheese blend cheese. I was going to use Parmesan, but I didn't have any freaking Parmesan left. So this is what I had to work with, y'all. And I'm literally about to eat super late in TK's room, but it looks freaking delicious. Mmm, yummy. So good, y'all. So bomb. But I didn't make my salad, you guys, because like it's super late. And that's only the little bit that I'm gonna be eating tonight because I don't like a lot on my stomach before I'm about to go to bed. And I'm about to freaking go to bed. So that's all I'm eating tonight, you guys. Maybe I'll do a better presentation for y'all tomorrow and show it, but that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you thought about it. Like, salmon pasta has always been one of my favorite 
dishes to make like I literally started making this type of pasta I want to say three years ago and this was the first time that I actually added shrimp to it let alone added like a different type of cheese on the top and it's like perfect the original way I make it but it's so much more flavorful with the extra shrimp and this cheese on top so let me know what you guys think about this video until next time guys I will see you later bye